Welcome to Morningstar. I'm James Gard. Today with me is Tice Herdeman. He's an analyst at Sustainalytics. Today we're going to be talking about Earth Day. So the theme of this year's Earth Day is invest in our planet, Tice. How would you describe this as a theme? So um, when it comes to uh, investing in our planets, there's uh, there's you know different actors that uh, that can play a role. Uh, there's the, the 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 business side of things. Uh, there's there's governments and regulation, uh, and there's uh, us as as you know as consumers and, and individuals that uh, that each have a, a role to play regarding uh, this theme of uh, investing in our planet. So what, what what can we do as consumers to to sort of uh, you know to to help save the planet and to improve what companies are doing? So uh, as a as a consumer, uh, we can choose to uh, buy or not buy um, uh, things from certain companies and 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 certain brands uh, based on their uh, sustainability performance, uh, for example. Uh, so in that sense, we can uh, vote with our wallet. Um, and uh, I mean, we, we're as, as individuals, we're not just uh, consumers, right? We 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 are all also, in a way, uh, investors uh, ourselves. Um, by having a, uh, for instance, a savings account, uh, uh, you know, contributing to a, to a to a pension fund, um, uh, or even as a as a retail investor, uh, and and then as an individual, you can uh, make certain. Uh, uh, choices. You know, you, you can uh, choose to keep a savings account with a uh, a bank that has uh, sustainable standards, or you can uh, engage with your uh, pension funds regarding their uh, regarding their investments. Um, and and as a as a retail investor, you can make certain uh, choices when it comes to uh, you know um, uh, your portfolio. So um, you also talked earlier about um, the role of government and regulation in in Earth Day. Um, could you expand on that a bit, then, please? Thanks. Governments obviously have a, have a big role uh, to play. There's the, the business side of things, but also, uh, like businesses, also governments need to to you know to to innovate to to help support the, the transferring to uh, to towards a greener economy. Uh, and there are already uh, a few uh, positive uh, developments going on. Uh, such as the the EU sustainable finance uh, disclosure regulation, but also regulation uh, regarding, for example, uh, due diligence in the supply chain or uh, what is known as uh, the the right to repair. Um, But at the same time, there's also a large amount uh, of uh, government uh, sponsoring towards the fossil fuel industry going on uh, to the tune of uh, uh, 10 million US dollars every minute, which adds up to uh, six trillion on a on an annual basis, and this is uh, a statistic uh, coming from the the International uh, Monetary Fund. So obviously, uh, such funding needs to be redirected towards uh, more sustainable alternatives. If if governments are serious about their responsibility uh, and their ambitions uh, towards a greener economy. So you're saying that the government is giving a sort of mixed message. They're they're talking a good game about environmental objectives, but but the money is actually you know heading to the wrong places in terms of um, investment and and sort of um, initiatives like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're also going to talk about um, uh, the role of business uh, in, in sort of environmental um, improvement. Yeah, so obviously uh, business has a has a has a large uh, impact on uh, on well on all of us, but also on the on, on the planet, right? So it can have an impact on uh, and has had has had an impact on uh, issues such as uh, climate change, but also resource uh, scarcity and uh, the protection of uh, natural uh, habitats. Uh, when you talk about uh, responsible business, there's uh, the the concept of uh, of uh, environmental, social, and, and governance, or uh, ESG. Uh, which is a concept that is uh, currently, you know, uh, v- very much uh, debated. Uh, you know, people are, uh, are questioning the, the the merits of uh, ESG. Uh, it's been around for, I'd say, a little under 20 years or so. Um, and uh, I mean, we're still, uh, you know, in danger of exceeding the the 1.5 or the uh, the two degrees uh, global warming uh, threshold. Um, you know, despite uh, all the uh, ESG efforts that are uh, that are being made, um, I mean, you could wonder what the the, the situation would be without uh, ESG investing. So it might be uh, even more dire with without the concept of uh, of ESG. Uh, and for better or worse, the, there's currently uh, 30 trillion uh, 
US dollars uh, assets under management uh, in uh, sustainable investing. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's a lot of money, and, and in the end, the, the concept is all about uh, raising the cost of capital for uh, you know uh, those firms with negative impact and increasing access to capital for uh, for those companies that uh, yeah that have a, 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 a positive impact. Sure. So it sounds like things are moving in the right direction, but there's no room for complacency in terms of um, you know save, saving the planet. I mean, we last spoke a year ago. Um, uh, on Earth Day last year, and are, are there things that you could see that happened in the last year that are worthy of sort of um, comment in terms of positive factors or negative factors? So last year, we the, the focus was more on uh, on deforestation and the, the issue of, uh, of biodiversity, and that is an issue that's uh, you know uh, increasingly being uh, uh, picked up by um, by by. By the business sector, by uh, investors, uh, and also by uh, governments, in the sense that uh, some governments are now exploring uh, regulation that uh, looks at uh, supply chain due diligence, for example, on the issue of uh, uh, deforestation and uh, and biodiversity. So there's the the, the, the there's uh, the, there is positive developments, but it's uh, painstakingly slow, I would say. Sure, well, that makes absolute sense. Well, thanks for your time today, Tace, and uh, for Morningstar, I've been James Gard.